Hi everyone and welcome back to the Casual Watch Review channel. Today we're going to take a look at a micro brand by Delios Watches, a brand based in Singapore. This is not the first micro brand that we have seen from Singapore, far from it. So I'm expecting big things from this watch as usually watches coming from Singapore, typically very well designed with good attention to detail. This model is the launch model and known as the waveform. The the watch here will be launched on Kickstarter on the 1st of November 2020. This version is the Ghost version and unfortunately is my least favourite of all the colourways. No slight on the watch but I'm really not a fan of black PVD or DLC coated watches. I feel the look can make a watch look very cheap sometimes. Here the shame is it's covering up a grade 2 titanium case. So visually you're getting a watch that is solid black here with PVD although the production one will be DLC coated for better durability. But the lightness of titanium. Honestly I thought it was made of plastic composite like a marathon navigator when I first felt it. I think I honestly would go for for the other variants unless you're really committed to the black. The blue and the midnight black for me look awesome. Also the loom shot here on the black prototype is just awful unfortunately. I imagine the other variants with their application of BGW9 will allow for a much better glow. To be fair, this is a prototype watch and their loom is usually never as good as the production version in my experience. There is no doubt about it, they have done an excellent job of the titanium case. It's only a shame I couldn't review the bracelet. I understand with the bracelet the total watch weighs in at around 115 grams, very light for a dive watch. If the bracelet is as nice as the case I'm sure you're in for a real treat there. The time teller reviewed the bracelet if you're interested I'll leave a link to his review in the description down below. The watch is coming in at only $299, pretty impressive for a titanium watch using the NH35A TMI movement. Although titanium isn't inherently more scratch resistant than steel, Delios have used a reinforced titanium here on the case and bracelet and even the milled clasp. This allows for the entire watch to not only be lightweight but also much more scratch resistant than traditional titanium. Whilst we are talking about the case, let's look at those measurements. But first, a special mention and 10 out of 10 marks for having drilled lugs. I joke on our casual watch talk podcast that I think I'm honestly more of a watch strap collector than I am a watch collector these days. I love being able to swap straps on my watches and give them a totally new look. Drilled lugs make this so much better. Let's look at those case measurements. We have a 40 millimeter case, 47 millimeters from lug to lug, and a 13.7 millimeter thickness, including the crystal, and a 20 millimeter lug width. So a very wearable dive watch, and the lightness of the titanium, you honestly don't feel the weight of the watch at all. If you have a smaller wrist or find dive watches bulky, I think you're honestly going to be okay with this one. The bezel is very nicely finished and doesn't fall into the trap of most titanium watches where the bezel can feel very cheap sometimes. This one has a nice click. Here it's 90 clicks. The production one will feature a 60 click bezel. The ceramic insert is fantastic with both a loom section but a very tactile finish to it. Big fan of this bezel honestly. I can't tell from the black version but the other versions appear to have metal polished sections. I can't remember seeing this on a micro brand watch in this price range ever and I've reviewed a fair few on the channel. The bezel also has a very nice coin edge to it which gives a very satisfying grip when you're turning the bezel. The dial is framed behind a double dome sapphire crystal with five layers of AR coating. The advantage of a double dome crystal is it offers a slight magnification of the dial without distorting when viewed from different angles. This is something that again is really nice to see on a $300 watch. You would never see a double dome sapphire on a $300 mechanical Seiko watch these days for example. I'm actually a big fan of the dial layout. It's far from unique to this 
this watch, but it's very simple and legible. The dial and hands are well balanced. Again, I think the Midnight Black version really shows off the design to its best. This has high polishing applied indices that contrast the hands nicely. Our black version here is a completely monochrome look with no polishing on the dial at all. And the high contrast of the dial may really appeal to some collectors, but honestly, there is nothing about the black version that I think shows off any of the design elements I know Delios have poured over on these other models, in my opinion. And I think the other models really do the design and attention to detail justice from the other reviews I've seen. However, it's very nice to see a colour-coded date wheel. I believe the blue dial version also has a colour-matched date wheel. This may seem like a simple thing if you're new to watch collecting, but you typically never see this on mid-tier main brands. Due to its lightness, the watch is very comfortable to wear. Here you can see it on my 7.2 inch wrist. The crown is nicely placed at the four o'clock position, although I think the crown could be slightly bigger for my taste. It's screw down, of course, and boasts an impressive 300 meter water resistance. The watch runs the NH35A movement. This is a workhorse TMI movement in the Seiko family of movements. Not only is it a reliable movement, but any watchmaker can work on this type of movement. And of course, they offer their own warranty. Denzel, who owns and runs Delios, wanted to create a quality watch at extremely affordable prices. Being the sole owner of the company, is able to keep the prices low while having great specifications for the watches. And I would say he's probably succeeded here. The Waveform launch price starts at just $299. You know from the other kinds of micro brand watches I like to review on the channel that the sub $500 micro brand sector has a lot going on vying for your dollars. There is a lot to choose from. As much as I didn't like the PVD version, I can tell from the watch that the Midnight Black or other variants might be right for me personally, but you have a tough decision to make. The micro brand scene is just getting better and better at the moment. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And if you're a new subscriber, let me know so I can say hi. As always, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time on the Casual Watch Review channel. Thanks guys, bye.